is complex. It's really quite complex now because uh, on the one hand we have data to show that longer term use of dual antiplatelet therapy after PCI is um, a benefit but there is also some risks for bleeding in particular. And so the picture has to be almost individualized which we as physicians are not so well equipped with. Uh, there have been studies done that highlight that certain uh, characteristics of patients or procedure characteristics um, would favor a longer term use, uh, whereas other characteristics that really define bleeding would probably be better to sort of characterize patients who should receive it shorter. But exactly how to do that in practice and how to use these uh, therapies is quite complex. So that's just on the duration. Then you have the complexity of which type of agent. And we have a lot of experience with clopidogrel, but we know after ACS, acute coronary syndrome, that prasugrel and ticagrelor offers superior outcomes in PCI patients. Now, how long you should use those? Well, we have even less data than we have with clopidogrel to, uh, to define exactly what to do. So the typical aspect would be that if patients come in with ACS, we try to focus on the more effective agents and use them for the full year of duration. But as I said earlier, there would be consideration for shortening the time, particularly with the newer stents available. One of the challenges in this field is that to resolve the issue how long and um, which type of agent actually really requires lots and lots of patients studied in the order of 20 to 30,000 patients. And so getting that information, what we really think would define the optimal strategy, probably is unattainable because the rate of stent thrombosis is now so low in the range of half a percent to one percent, maybe a little bit higher after ST elevation MI, that really to define this in clinical investigation becomes in, in increasingly hard. So in the future, we'll have to look at doing trials where we can collect information like this in tens of thousands of patients in a much, much easier way. I believe that there will be in the future some idea of collecting electronic health records that you can combine with the information from the procedure um, and what the patient is taking, uh, but that is still a few years away for us to get to that ultimate knowledge base of how to use these agents.